Hey guys, Mistmaster1 here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final X HD Proud Level 1. In the last episode, we took care of the third page in the Hundred Acre Wood, and we also arrived, or well, the world arrived to us, uh, our next world, Neverland, here, and Riku's here, and he has Kyrie captive and all that, and we were trapped in this little hold of the ship here, but uh, Peter Pan was nice enough, our new world party member, to uh, help us out, and now we can leave. And just something to clarify before I get on with the episode, I've taken all of Peter's ethers, and I've replaced them with potions. He has three ethers here. Just do that. And uh, give Sora two ethers and a mega ether, and that should pretty much do it. I also took care of uh, unequipping Sonic Blade. I could have just done that this video, but just to show you, I will not have that any equipped anytime soon, as there's nothing really pertinent to the usage of Sonic Blade now that we've uh, completed Halloween Town. So uh, let's get started. Let's get out of here so you can get back to the deck of that ship. And upon your exit, there's Pirate Heartless, and even more so, there is that uh, Shadow uh, Sora thing that uh, Riku summoned on us at, on the, the top deck of the ship in that one cutscene from last episode. And uh, he can be a bit of a nuisance, but uh, really, he's not that all that bad. He'll just kind of be cocky, he'll just like dance around and stuff, you can just beat the hell out of him, it's really not that big of a deal. After you deal enough damage to him, he will just leave. Like, this is just a- in this sense, at this point, he's just a normal Heartless like any other. I believe he would give you experience, otherwise when he drops like those little orbs right there, you saw he kind of went into the floor and disappeared right there. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about that, more on that later, haha. <laughs> and of course we have ourselves these new little Heartless here, my party members are completely wiped already, that's great. These are just, uh, pirates. They're, that's all they're called, the original, I know. Uh, they're kind of similar- oh, Jesus. Ooh, get me out of there, I should have died from that, but okay. And, uh, they kind of have, you know, just varied swings, they can get up from the ground and retaliate. Oh my goodness. And they're kind of aggressive, so, uh, I would not recommend fighting them, as usual, because, well, since we are level 1, there's really no point at this point if you're not synth grinding, so, uh, we're gonna avoid them. There's a door here with a yellow trinity mark we can't do anything about, that guy's just gonna stand there. He's gonna try to hurt me, he's gonna fail miserably. Uh, you, if you try this door over here, it doesn't work. If you try to go up this ladder, nothing happens. It's just a stupid trap door that doesn't go anywhere, and, uh, we're just gonna move on. There's kind of a one-way path here. There's some barrel spiders and, uh, anti-sora there. Don't bother. We're just gonna keep moving through the little parts of the ship, like so. We're on the kind of underdeck side. Just climb up this ladder really quick, and, uh, that'll do it. So, how come you can fly? Anyone can fly. You want to try? Aw, uh, haven't you cooled up yet, Tink? Just a little bit of pixie dust. There, now you can fly. <laughs> I think she did that on purpose. Donald should be able to fly anyway, he's a bird for God's sake. What? So Wendy's not one of the chosen ones? There are seven, supposedly. And Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake the other hand it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Uh, Captain? What? The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. <laughs> Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. What is it, Tink? Peter? Peter Pan? That must be Wendy. Wendy. Hey. Please, hurry. The pirates are coming. What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on! Wendy? Yes? Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie? Kyrie! Uh. Wendy! 
Wendy. Hey, let's get up there. So we have allocated Kyrie and Wendy, but uh, of course, you know, Captain Hook and his little crew are doing their best to hide them from us. Get ourselves a Meteor G in that chest, that's nice. Uh, little thing here, <laughs> uh, what you're supposed to do is go through those little, one of those two holes right there. If you go through the right hole in the ceiling there, you can actually get to the place you're supposed to go. We're gonna go in the left hole. Oh my. But uh, before we do that, we're actually just gonna open up this little door right here because it was locked from the other side. As you can see, when we go through, there's the pirate. Yeah, it's uh, that room with the yellow trinity and everything next to the door. And oh, holy crap, Ohlone, there is a lot of heartless here. Uh, we're going to make our escape really quick. Just get out of the way. There we go. Like I said, well, maybe I didn't say it actually, but we have a lot to do this episode, so uh, I don't want to waste too much time. Can't go there. This was the place that, uh, what's it called, Wendy and Kyrie were at just a little while ago, so... Ah. Uh, can't open that door either. Well, the only way you can go is through this door. See, it's kind of like on a one-track path sort of deal. Like, you can only go one way, like, every so often, every time you reach a new room. Something I'm going to do really quick, because this is actually a uh, missable scene if you don't do this now. And something I haven't seen since, for like, the longest time, actually. Because I play through these games, I rush through them, of course. I have speed around the game. And there's actually a little cutscene here if you have Peter Pan in your party. Wendy, are you in there? See, he shows his concern for Wendy, and she might be in that room right there. That's all I want to have Peter in my Peter Pan in my party. <laughs> that alliteration, though. Uh, for now, I will be using him on the last part of this world, but I want my initial party because not only do I, you know, think it's better for the next thing coming up, but also we have ourselves our next green trinity, another trinity ladder, which again is funny because who would have thought there's another ladder that actually needs to be lowered like so. You know, sometimes when they actually name the abilities, it kind of has a purpose, so how about that? Uh, if you want to give any of your other party members some items, go ahead. Uh, I'd recommend you have Fyra and Cure on your customization menu for your shortcuts, and uh, once you're ready, we're go- Can you guys get out of my way? Okay. We're gonna go up here. And he has summoned Antisaur on us once again, but this time he's not messing around. And you can see, he's a pretty close carbon copy of us with all our attacks and all that other stuff. And he can go in the ground, he can, uh, you know, just run away, do all that stuff. He's pretty aggressive, so keep your distance, there goes Donald. Uh, Goofy, good job attacking the table, you're being useful. So, uh, how do you tackle this guy? He has several moves, well, oh, not like that, don't, don't do that, that's, uh, that's a bad way to approach it, but, uh... You can bait him into doing an attack like that, and then while he's sort of recovering from that, you can do another few sets of hits. But a good thing to do with this fight in particular, if you're playing on level 1, is uh, get that initial, you know, finisher off there. And we're just gonna go ham with our fire really quick. Let's get some fire shots off like that. He might go underground, shoot some more fire. Good. When you get to about 3, use- oh my god, he jumped. He almost never does that. He can also run at you, scarily enough, but use an ether once you're at, fr at uh, 3 MP there, so you can get all of your MP back. Because fire has that little unique way of draining down, as you can see, it has like the orange bar, so you basically refill a crap ton every time uh, you just use- the more MP you have from a base, the more fires you can use in general, but like more so than what you normally think. As you saw right there, he has this little tendency- oh my god, okay. Let's uh, back off. He has this little tendency to go in under the ground there, and when that happens, he's basically invincible, and he will just leap out from underneath the floor and try to swipe at you every so often. Uh, something is eventually going to happen where he's going to split up into three different... Uh, act oh, he might do it here. No, not yet. He will split up into three different uh, clones of himself. And here it is right here, and two of them are fake and one of them is real, and you can actually tell... Most people would say, okay, this is an issue because we don't have scan to sort of distinguish which one is real, because two of the fake clones... See, he just tried to run at me right there, that was uh, sketchy. Uh, two of the clones have one HP, and the, the real one actually has, uh, you know, the HP it's supposed to have. And now he's doing his little thing where he's uh, just going under the floor again. And uh, if you clank off the wall, you can actually get... Uh, iframes, which is fun. Okay, this guy is the real one. One way you can tell for sure, if you attack a uh, fake one, it'll just disappear like that. Also, after every five hits, he will separate again and uh, kind of just reform and all that stuff. If I can get another opportunity to show that, I'll do it. Okay, here. 
So every five hits, or you do a finisher, this applies to both, you'll do this, and it's actually possible to loop the guy if you uh, interrupt him right after he does his initial attack, like that. And every five hits, or you do a finisher, like I said before, he will separate. And I'm actually doing a reasonable job here. I'm trying to comment, concentrate and talk at the same time. And so if I mess this up, then I apologize. But that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do for this is, uh, once he gets to this phase, you can really abuse the hell out of this loop right here and just basically stun loop him over and over again so he doesn't really get a chance to do anything. But I'll break up the monotony and I'll actually not do that anymore. See? Uh, see how that one did a finisher type move right there? Like he did that full swing like our normal finisher would be on the ground? Well, that's the real one. See, if I attack it, it's it's the one that still stays around. So that's the way you can tell which one is actually real if uh, you don't have skin. And he should have hit me right there, but I lucked out. Okay. So, we're pretty far into this fight. I am going to try to see if I can... Oh, wow, I thought it was too far away. The party members don't do anything, especially you, Goofy. Okay, there we go. Party members can really be annoying in this fight, because they'll push him away from you, but if you keep cool and all, he's not too difficult of a fight. There we go, we won't be seeing Antisora again, and we obtained the Raven's Claw accessory, which is, uh, oh, pause. Uh, interesting little accessory, but the thing is, Reduces dark damage by 20%, we will pretty much be taking enough damage to go down to 1 HP anyway. And it raises our strength and defense, strength is not relevant, and defense is not relevant. So it's, under normal circumstances, it's pretty reasonable, but, uh, not at level 1. So, Riku kind of made off of Kairi here, and for some reason we can't open the door. Even though he clearly just went, I guess maybe he locked it on the other side, but, uh, what we're supposed to do is actually drop down into here and we can find, uh, Wendy down here. But before we do that, and this is much more important than saving Wendy, you can open this chest over here. And if you go over to this chest, you can find yourself your next set of Dalmatians. Puppies number 88, 89, and 90 have found their way home. So there we go. And now that we've done all that, let's actually, uh, open this trap door and let's see if Wendy's down here. Well, I mean, spoiler, she is, because I already say said it, but, uh, let's rescue her. Tink? Not now! Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. And Peter is now going to leave us for this next little portion of uh, Neverland as he goes to return Wendy back to uh, London. And get yourself a Proterra chain there. Again, not overly useful. So you might be wondering, uh, before I do anything, no, do not discard, please. Uh, I will take out another Ether for what's coming up next. Uh, save if you want. What we're going to actually end up doing, see this is the room that uh, Wendy was in, now we've looped back around. We're going to go back up the exact same way we came, and this time we're actually going to follow Riku out that door that he went, where he was holding Kairi. He, he's had plenty of headway since we've uh, been fighting Antisora, but let's see if we can stop him. Now we can go through here. Quite a codfish, that Riku, running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Run off where? Tell me, where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. Uh, but you won't be going there. Oh no! <gasps> Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. Hand over the keyblade and I'll spare your lives. I'm glad I'm merciful, unlike the heartless. So, which will it be? The keyblade or the plank? It's him, the crocodile that took me hand. Oh, it's me. He's after the other hand! I can't stay here! Go away! Oh, I can't stand the sight of him! Me! You take care of them! Why, Sora? Just believe, and you can do it! Hey, it works!
worked! The pixie dust actually worked, how about that? Hey, and here's Peter to save the day on top of that. Nice. That worked out pleasantly, uh, surprisingly well. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? <laughs> yeah, go away, Smee. No one likes you. <laughs> and here we go. Now we actually... Oh, and we attained the power of healing. I forgot that this kind of happens. Cure is upgrade to Cure. That's a bit of an awkward uh, time for that to happen, but sure. And now I'm actually going to swap Peter Pan in for Donald, and there's a very particular reason why. And no, it does... I actually... I don't know. I haven't checked to see if Peter actually has a Cure ability. I'll probably throw that up there uh, later. But uh, the main reason we don't want Donald for this fight is for uh, something I'll explain in a little while. We kind of have a pre-fight to do first. So let's uh, roll with Peter and Goofy. In Neverland, Sora and his friends can fly. While jumping, press circle to fly, then press circle to rise and square to descend. So, there we go. You're all going down, and now we have ourselves some heartless, some mandatory heartless battles here. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Peter. That is why I gave you some potions, so you can bail me out like that. And Peter's actually pretty useful. Oh, too bad he got taken out already. That's okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's back up a little bit here. That's this, Things are going a little bit shakier to start with. Let's see if we can get ourselves a... Uh, finish her off so we can get some more damage going with our magic. Okay, that's good. Uh, Blizzard is good because of its multi-range attack, like so. Get deal with those guys. These guys are being super aggro, dude. That's really irritating, actually. He's leaping and stuff. I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, uh, we can fly in, in Neverland now if we just uh, do what the tutorial said. Uh, jump with uh, circle and then, you know, rise with circle, descend with square, all that. We're not going to use that right now because, of course, we have this guy to deal with. But you want to use it now because we have ourselves some new enemies. These are the air pirates, and they're just like pirates, except they can fly. And you kind of go along this similar concept. All you have to do is just use uh, some magic after you've stored some damage. Your magic does pretty good damage regardless. Like, if you just want that little slight extra bonus, go for it. But if it's too out of the way to go in for some, uh, like, little combos here. Also, a little thing is that your air combos... Don't apply while you're like this. It actually goes by your ground combos, which is a... Actually, maybe I'm wrong with that. No, I'm wrong. Don't pay attention to me. I'm thinking about some another world where your battling is kind of awkward. But, uh... Basically, air comboing applies the same as it would uh, under normal circumstances when you're not flying. So it goes by air combos during this. I'm gonna get rid of these guys over here. Okay, thank you. Oh, that is an item. I will pick that up. That is a high potion. That's pretty good. Uh, we're getting rid of these high- or <laughs> not these high potions. These regular pirates, because you can see there is a new uh, enemy here as well. This is the uh, pirate ship. It can shoot missiles. It can attack you with multiple projectiles. It can actually dash at you if you uh, damage it enough and sort of annoy it to the point where it's like, Oh, hey. Oh, that is a synth drop. That is a- uh, What's it called? Where'd it go? I want that item. That's gonna make my life easier for later. Power jump. Pretty cool. Now you know that. And, uh, wow. It just charged Goofy right there, and he was actually on the receiving end of it because, like, the little stem of the ship. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> That's their little charge attack. But something you can do to make your life a little easier. Uh, you can actually stop this thing. I'm gonna use Gravira. Just use Gravira, and that's gonna take good- take care of a good portion of its health. Uh, but if you want, you can use a stop and two Graviras, and that will actually deal a lot of damage to it. But uh, we don't have to worry about that too much, as we've dealt a lot of damage to it so far. And there we go. But that's only part one of our little escapade here. We still have Hook to deal with. Is that you, Smee? Did you finish them off? Aye, Captain. They walk the plank, every last one of them. Peter Pan, you ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. And it's boss time. This is Captain Hook, and of course, the very first thing that we're going to do to start this fight off, if you haven't guessed, is run away. Because uh, if you don't do this now, it's going to be a little annoying, but you can actually create yourself a little shortcut by uh, coming back into this room now. And uh, this is very convenient because now we can just go back two rooms, and yes, the fight will still be loaded when we go back. And actually heal up at a save point, so that's pretty nice. Okay, <laughs> that was rather anticlimactic. Now let's actually get out there and fight Hook. And here we go now, Captain Hook. 
He has a his little henchman here. Two more pirate ships. Do not worry about them because uh, they will be infinitely spawning. Oh god. Okay. Uh, so all we're gonna do is focus on where'd he go? There he is. Focusing strictly on Captain Hook. Well, actually, if you really want to, you could get yourself some damage storage by doing a combo off the thing. Okay, my party members are dead. I'm gonna heal Peter Pan, and he should throw a potion at Goofy now. If he could, or is he out of them? That's fine, I can heal Goofy as well. And we're gonna get ourselves a uh, Dumbo working on this guy, so uh, let's get to it. Also, the pirate ships right there can drop little fire bombs that you want to be careful of. Uh, of course, we're gonna get Dumbo on... Get Dumbo on... Uh, <laughs> that's really awkward, I'm not gonna finish that. Uh, we're just gonna use Dumbo on this guy and deal some pretty nice damage to start the fight off. While you're on Dumbo, of course, you are invincible, so don't worry about the pirate ship. But be aware when your summon gauge is running out, if, uh, you know... The ship is charging you or anything like that he'll enter his little mad phase right here and all you have to do is just fly away get a few hits on him while you're at it and <laughs> little quirky fight uh, mechanic there ow that was rude ship shot me in the midair dude that's not nice all right so now things are looking a little bit sketchy here let's uh throw an ether and I'm going to heal my party members once again, and if you're running low on magic, you can get yourself the Bambi summon right here, and Bambi will also drop some more MP, like we discussed in Monstro. Uh, what else to note? Uh, do not use fire on this guy. This is the main reason why I said not to use Donald in the first place, is that Donald could occasionally use fire. And if fire hits Captain Hook, he kind of does like a sort of, uh... Uh, desperation move, which I haven't really gone over yet, but it's base desperation moves basically like really ridiculous attacks that can do uh, They're basically invincible and they will deal a lot of damage in the process. So let's just get our MP back up Let's use some blizzard. That'd be nice. Okay, good. Blizzard damage in. Let's get ourselves a combo Oh, what? I, I parried the- oh no. Okay, this also happens if a fire little thing hits him That's the same effect as if you used a fire on hook. Don't do that. Now I don't have to show that off, so that's nice Come on, hook, get over here what if- I, I parried off the thing twice, that's so stupid. Okay, there we go. Now let's get some blizzards going on on this guy, because, uh, blizzard is, is a good friend of yours. Uh, while we're at it, let's, uh, revive Goofy and get Genie in. Get all your summons in on this guy and get some more damage. Like, summons do a ridiculous amount of damage in general, so getting off all of these while, you know... Like, pretty much just use all your summons until you have nothing else. Simba isn't really useful for either of these fights, so don't worry about that, but I would recommend, you know... A summon, then use Bambi, and then use your other summon to make full use of that. You can also deal some damage to the uh, ship along the way, but that's not really that big of a deal. As I said, they are infinitely spawning. We are more so after the fact that we want to do a lot of damage to uh, Hook himself. He'll do like some various charge attacks to so just, you know, keep a distance, unlike me. I'm failing miserably at that. Okay, that should be reasonable. I'm going to throw another ether because my MP is getting a bit low. Get some blizzards down on that guy. Uh, if you be a little too aggressive, he'll also do this once in a while, uh, he'll- that's the animation he does when he, there's no other Heartless to help support him. The, uh, pirate ships can also shoot out a little, uh, healing missile, so you want to be careful of that. Uh, while Hook is in this phase and- <laughs> he just jumped off the ship. Oh. Uh, while Hook is in that phase where he's going berserk, stay away from him, because, uh, he will basically just keep attacking you every time he gets near. I almost got hit, like, three times right there, that was a bit sketchy. Let's do some more ice. Ice, ice, baby. Okay. Keep your distance. I've, I'm just reiterating various things. You can use magic when he's doing that, but he, he'll, he is impervious to physical hits when he's waving his little hook around right there. He should be pretty... I'm not gonna say... Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm not gonna say he's close to death. Oh, he just got hit with a healing missile. I had to say something. Oh, man. He was going greedy for some attacks right there, dude. Ah, this fight's being a little bit messy. I may actually, uh, speed up a few things. Okay, now I'm just being really reckless. I need to, uh, be careful here. Uh, this fight could take a while because the sort of healing missile things that Hook likes to do over and over and over and over again. Well, the pirate ships, rather, but... that You, you can also, if you're lucky, get in the way of the healing missiles and they will heal you instead, which is nice. Right here. That's why you should stay away from uh, Hook when he does that, because that's just the sort of attacks he does. He'll just do non-stop kamikaze, like, sword swipes when he gets close to you. And unfortunately, this fight isn't going as smoothly as I would have planned. I'm just kind of getting impatient at this point, because I know this video is going to be on the lengthy side, as I want to do a lot of stuff this episode. One, two, one, two, three, get in some damage there. Ah, whatever. 
It's fine. Keep going back. May I may actually pop that up, Mega Ether. Oh no, he died. Okay. <laughs> I was a little worried. I had a long way to go because it's kind of hard to tell when you get when you get shot with healing missiles over and over again. But yeah, there we go. There's Hook. Bit of an obnoxious fight, but you can persevere. And we learned Ars Arcanum, probably the most useful limit break if you're not playing level 1, and Anson's Report 9 as well. But at level 1, it is actually the most useless one, funny enough. So there we go. Hook is now defeated. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. <gasps> Sora, I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kairi. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kairi. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that, Tink? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. And just like that, we are now brought to the clock tower of Neverland. Well, not of Neverland, but in the world of Neverland. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hey, there's Wendy. All right. And guys, no, actually, I'm going to keep, like I said, this is going to be a really long video, so I want to finish up everything else that I want to do here. Uh, open this chest over here on the clock tower, you can get yourself a flare G, that's pretty nice. And uh, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase, if you talk to Wendy real quick, you'll find her sword, just don't give up. I believe that's pretty much the extent of it, I'd rather there not be. Well, thanks to Big Ben, you can tell the time from anywhere in London, blah blah blah. One of the clocks is off, she gives you a little hint. And, uh, hmm, I wonder which one it could pop. Okay, let's, uh, not waste time. And, uh, the way to do this, you attack the, uh, Minute Hand three times, and it will put it to midnight, and, uh, you can probably guess what's gonna happen once we do this. At the end of every world, this always happens, in some way, shape, or form. course it reveals the keyhole to this world who would have figured and there we go neverland is now finished and remember back in the, like, episode 15 when we got a navigational gummy piece from Opposite Armor? Well, we have found the second one, so now we can branch off to a new world. Hey, Sora, we're back here again, this flashback. We saw at Monstro, hmm? When we grow up, let's get off this island. We'll go on real adventures, not this kid stuff. Sure, but isn't there anything fun to do now? Hey, you know the new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the night of the meteor shower, and this is where it cut off last time, but, uh, what? Oh. That was not there before. Like, especially earlier in the game when we saw that door initially. That might be why Riku had all those, you know, feelings about leaving the island in the first place. Oh god, Riku, that's disgusting. Don't do that, no. <laughs> Why did I even try? It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A cast 
passed away. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. My power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Oh, she's giving him more? Good God. So yeah, that, that little group they have is kind of growing small there. It's just him and Maleficent. Well, there is one more that we still haven't dealt with, but uh, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. More on that later. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so, but we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. steamed again do me a favor look after her for me will ya what <laughs> what well you want me to take care of her and we get our next summon tinkerbell the second last summon of the game actually and get the fairy harp keyblade but the fairy harp keyblade and we get glide okay yeah we got a lot of stuff here so there you go and uh glide now we can do short bursts of uh flying in any other world besides neverland uh, the Fairy Harp Keyblade, it's not so hot in all honesty. It has pretty short range. We lose an MP bar compared to Spellbinder. I'm not going to really bother with that. And speaking of which, now that, that all of that has been set and done, we have now finished everything in Neverland, and I am going to leave this world because there's one last thing that I want to cover before I end the video off because this has been a very long video. Well, we found the Navi Gummy piece. Let's go back to town. Sid will install it on the ship once we bring it to him. We'll do that in the net, the video after the next video because there's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. Oh, more, oh, wow, really? I hear there's a great reward for the winner. And that's right, guys. In the next episode, we will go to Olympus Coliseum and take on the next cup. So, guys, I've been Mr. Astro, and thank you for watching. This has been episode 28 of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix HD Proud Level 1. This has been a very long episode. I will not be posting again tomorrow. I will see you guys in two days' time from once you've seen this video, just because it's very long. And uh, next time, yeah, we're going to take on the third cup of the game at OC. So until then, guys, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in episode 29. See you later.